Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into why the Philippines is so vulnerable to natural disasters. From typhoons and earthquakes to volcanic eruptions and floods, this Southeast Asian nation faces a range of natural hazards. But what makes it so prone to these events? Let's explore. The Philippines is an archipelago consisting of over 7,600 islands. Its location in the Pacific Ring of Fire and the Western Pacific Basin plays a significant role in its vulnerability. The Pacific Ring of Fire is a major area in the Pacific Ocean, where many earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. The Philippines sits on the boundary of the Eurasian and Philippine Sea Plates, making it a hotspot for tectonic activity. This tectonic activity leads to frequent earthquakes and the presence of around 20 active volcanoes. Notable eruptions include Mount Pinatubo in 1991, which was one of the largest eruptions of the 20th century. Apart from seismic activity, the Philippines is also situated in the path of typhoons. On average, the country experiences about 20 typhoons each year, with around five being destructive. The warm waters of the Western Pacific Ocean fuel these storms, making them more intense. One of the most devastating typhoons in recent history was Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, locally known as Yolanda. It was one of the strongest tropical cyclones ever recorded, causing massive destruction and loss of life. The heavy rainfall from typhoons often leads to severe flooding and landslides, especially in areas with deforested land. Urban areas with inadequate drainage systems are particularly vulnerable to flooding. Coastal regions are also at risk due to storm surges. With many communities living in low-lying coastal areas, the impact of these surges can be catastrophic, destroying homes and livelihoods. Climate change is exacerbating these natural disasters. Rising sea temperatures and changing weather patterns are expected to increase the frequency and intensity of storms. Additionally, rising sea levels threaten coastal communities with more frequent and severe flooding. Despite these challenges, the Filipino people are known for their resilience. Efforts are being made to improve disaster preparedness and response, including early warning systems, community drills, and building more resilient infrastructure. The government, along with various NGOs and international organizations, is working to enhance disaster risk reduction strategies. These include better urban planning, reforestation projects, and climate change adaptation measures. While the Philippines' geographical location makes it prone to natural disasters, the spirit and resilience of its people shine through. By understanding the risks and taking proactive measures, there's hope for a safer and more resilient future. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.